All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So we are joined by Mr. Palaka, the, was it Spiteful, Spiteful Spartan, right? Spiteful Spartan, correct. All right. So uh, we are going to be dueling. Uh, what deck are you using? Uh, I'm using a uh, custom trap trick before mage. Okay, so the hatred, and of course I'm using Dynamis, which is also the hatred. So uh, <laughs> we should be able to uh, hopefully lock down our opponents and do some play. Uh, and seeing... it looks like we're facing Pepe. Uh, or Odd Ice Magician or something. Yeah, Some sort of magicians. magician. Yeah, Pendulum Magicians. Like I said, uh, I'm just getting kind of bored of this deck, to tell you the truth. I see this deck so much lately. Like, I mean, it's it's like the, literally the budget, good uh, uh, Pendulum-based deck. Like, if you want to play Pendulum really and you want to top and you want to do well, just pick up 3D structure decks, slap them together, and there you go. So, uh, yep. <laughs> despite you know Pepe coming into uh, full power and doing all that, uh, you know, this deck is uh, definitely uh, second tier to none, and uh, will probably have to be addressed accordingly as well. So, as I said, my banless prediction will be around the 1st of February, so don't think that I'm not going to be dressing this deck too, because <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah. a, a structure deck with this amount of power, being able to compete with the other top decks, I mean, Konami doesn't make too much abstract decks. So they're a little bit of cash cow, a little bit, but not as much as you buying sets and you buying individual boxes and sets and making money off of that. So it's not very good for Konami to allow a deck like this to uh, be able to overpower Pepe, uh, uh, one of the uh, a set deck. So yeah. Also, I'm just kind of getting bored of this deck. I really am. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so. Stupid thing wasn't letting me set properly. <laughs> So, when two or more monsters are special at the same time, destroy all monsters in the field. Alright, so pretty much when he penders them. Wow, trap hole two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, we're the... just gonna, we're going with all the hate. Just the classic. Okay. Okay. I mean, like I said, his, his plays were uh, kind of anticlimactic, I must say. Just summoning another dragon pit in defense mode. Okay. 27 booty, not bad. Oh, and monarchs too? Like, oh, shit. <laughs> monarchs hey. and. <laughs> Uh, you know, Pendulum of Magicians is going to be a tough duel. It really is. Especially nah, if, what? It, it's okay. We got we got the back row for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monarchs definitely lose to back row. I, I've seen that plenty of times. So we're about to see him just go off Panditi, all that shit. He's running more than a 40 card deck. Interesting. And an extra deck. Interesting. So I guess we won't be seeing you locking us down with your field spell, I'm assuming. Yeah, probably. Like, I'd really like to see what angle he's going to try to uh, handle this. Of course, uh, monarchs are trigger effects monster. So, you know, whether hmm. he summon, depending on what monarch he summons, whether you chain your card or not, his effect will resolve. But uh, yeah, this should be an interesting one, and he can probably he can pendulum summon too. Like the pendulum mechanic is just the mechanic that has definitely gone unrivaled. The first monarch. Okay, I haven't seen a lot of that card either, especially with uh, what is it? I forgot the other trap card that they've been playing. Um, escalation. No, the other token monarch guy. The other one. The other token monarch. Not um, the, huh. Not the first monarch, but another monarch S card. I forgot the name of it, though. All right, what the heck? Uh, do do do. Select like the two cards. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, go All ahead. All right. And you know what? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Actually, you can just no. chain your trap Trouble. hole and then draw two. Exactly. <laughs> so bad. I, I don't like cards. I see. I see them playing it, but I personally don't like cards. I think it's kind of a bad card. <laughs> like either you target your own shit and then go zero, or you target your opponent's shit and then let them draw. Like I get it that you know it's probably like oh well you know they pop and then they also uh, get their. All right, come on, stuff. summon more, summon more. No, I don't think. Come so. on, I think he's just overextend. Leave it like that. Overextend. <laughs> I don't think so. I think he's just gonna leave it like that, which is fine. <laughs> yeah. How ah, that twenty-seven booty so strong. It yeah. is. Yep, he's gonna leave it like that. That is fine. All right. Well, you're also with that face down galaxy cyclone. <laughs> so I don't. I don't really think that I should blind. It's really. It's really no too much of a threat. Really can't use much Pitar and Stego is like one of the worst. So I think I might play one of my favorite Pendulum S cards right now. Okay. Ah, I love this card. <laughs> oh yeah, ignite reload. That was great. Mm -hmm. So I'll put these back and then draw into a new hand. All right. And actually, I could I, if there's nothing, no backer stopping. I can drop the first turn Infinity right now. Yeah. <laughs> Infinity, like I said, uh, you people, people see this card and it's like, what the fuck does it do? The card's trash, and it's like, no, it's actually not. It's actually not, not in this deck. So you're actually about to see uh, the power and the reason why I actually play it. So I mean, even I even uh, played it in my Odd Eyes Magicians mm. because. If I would have drawn into other stuff I didn't really need, I could just Ignite Reload it away. Oh, no, not Ignite Reload. This card, that you see in my Pendulum Scale, you're like, what the fuck is oh, this uh, trash card? Oh, Rise Bell. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, Rice Bowl's really good. Yep, because you already know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I said I, I can't guarantee you that I'm gonna get off this play, but I'm gonna go ahead and push for it. The sad thing is, I can't really deal with the Dragon Pit. I have Regeki, and I guess I could throw the Regeki at him, but I really can't deal with Dragon Pit. Mm. Um, I could always Zemayo. If you could go into uh, Infinity, you could just absorb it. It has to be in attack position. Oh, it does, right. I mean, how strong will I be? I think I'll be exactly 27 if I do go into Infinity. I don't think I'll be any stronger. Let's see. We'll find out. I know you have the answer to it. Go ahead and play it. Bottomless. Yep. Yep. That's fine. Done in by a oh, trap. <laughs> Done in by a trap hole. Alright, there's that Psalm notice. Yep. Psalm strikes too strong. But it is, it too. really is. Okay. Kind of the one in the grave right to pop your pendulum skills anyway, so that's fine. Mm-hmm. And we're clearly seeing this powerful, powerful structure deck put in that work. Right? So, I'm assuming... It's like, literally, you just gotta buy three of them and you're set. Wow, he's actually playing the ritual. Yep, so... Once again, we're probably we're seeing the multiple wisdom eyes. Yep, summon another oaf. Oaf yep. will go ahead and get back uh, his uh, wisdom eye. Like I said, there is still definitely some plays here, but this this deck at times is super ridiculous when it comes to the plays that it pulls off. So I th I think that it's going to get addressed accordingly, along with Pepe oh, yeah. and all that. So like I said, if, if if Pepe is deck number one, then what's deck number two? <laughs> Ooh, that's actually a hard one. I put this deck even over Cosmos. Yeah, I'd say Cosmos, but up once uh the Monarchs come out. Monarchs are going to give them a run for their money. The problem with Monarchs is they're really susceptible to back row. Yeah, and they're really slow. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, we've even seen it in the OCG where Monarchs were there, and then all of a sudden Strike comes out, and you don't see Monarchs really doing much at all, of anything. Mm-hmm. <sighs> it's going to be a hard duel for me, I can tell you that. Put a lot into that freaking Nova just to get bottomless. You got you got resources out the butt though. Oh yeah, I got plenty of resources. And he's not really overextending. If he would have overextend with the with the magician and overextended with the pendulum summon, I probably would have stopped it with the strike. But only one, nah. So. Oh yeah. Dian Dianera, go ahead and summon back that Marmelio. Pop one of his things. <laughs> exactly. Yep. Uh, which back row should I go for? Uh, I'd probably go for the one to the left, because the other one to the right is the Monarch guy's uh, back row, so it's probably just his trap card. Unless you want to pop, pop his first Monarch. Like, okay. It seems like that back row is actually a threat, in comparison to just the Monarch guy saying, Oh. Oh. I could have sworn okay. he said it over there. I could have swore so too. That's weird. Yeah, that caught me off guard. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sure, sure, I guess. So, um, hmm. Are you just gonna go ahead and go into your, uh, Rafisha? Yeah. Or are you just, uh, yeah, gonna go into Rafisha. Okay. That generic level 4 is just way too strong. 2500 booty. 2500 booty? God damn. Yeah, exactly. She's just like, oh, here. Oh, and by the way, I can activate trap cards from the deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's trap cards from the deck, that's fair. <laughs> Make sure I don't throw some of those trap holes in my freaking deck. That's annoying. Oof. Yep. Yeah, that kind of uh, put a little damper on me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Definitely popped the wrong card. Oh, yeah. Oh! So he can use his effect and spin back our Regeki back to the deck. Awesome. Yeah. 
Uh, you can only strike them. I'd probably strike them. Yeah. Hold we on. take less life points. Yeah. I would like to say that for the pendulum something tight. We're going to go neg even harder. It might if, have this duel because I'm already running out of resources. It, it comes down to you. Okay. Because I am, I, am, I am running out of resources. Well, right now I'm looking at some fire and ice hands in my hand, so... Oh, so you can just literally just throw the fire and ice hand brigade at uh, them. Yep. Yep. We'll just see if they pendulum summon more than two. Oh. Here it comes. Are they going to do one more? No. No, of course not. <laughs> okay. Mm. Like I said, it doesn't, really doesn't matter even if I uh, uh, Galaxy Cycle in his Pendulum Scale. Actually, I can't. I can just, no, you can't because of Sky Iris. It's sky Iris, yep. That uh, doesn't matter either. I guess I'll go ahead and destroy Sky Iris. Destroy Sky Iris with Galaxy Cyclone. There's really nothing else that's face up that's a threat right now. Like, yeah. The struggle is going to be real in this duel. Oh, yeah, definitely. I got this play, and if you, if need be, the pendulum skills are set up for you as long as they last. Oh man, yeah. Mhm. Mm kind of wish you. Would, oh, come. At this point, I kind of wish you would have got a uh, time space instead of giant trap hole. It's really, <laughs> not really doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about getting time space, so I'm like, we're playing a Pepe deck. Giant trap hole would hurt him worse. Really? Yeah, because it destroys them all. But they would just go back to the extra deck. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, well, time space returns them to the deck. Yeah. <sighs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think we're going to win this duel. Wow, and he's actually going to do the gravity dragon. He's going to destroy my skill and, and overextend and wreck me. And, of course, now he destroys the, the time space. Not that he's going to do it anyway, but... I mean, the, the yeah. giant trap hole, you yeah. know? What is gravity dry? Oh, it's it everything. just reset everything. Like, I guess. Okay. And then it's like a um, flare. So I guess, thank you for giving my my stuff back. Okay. So it's like a, kind of like a pseudo giant trunade, I guess? Like, I don't know. Had a really difficult time here just because he keeps re, re getting all his uh, resources through the pendulum mechanic, which of course is just how the pendulum mechanic works, just how Konami wants it to be. Yep. <laughs> Alright, let's. I'm gonna get rid of that thing. Okay. So we're just gonna do this. Summon the extra freaking fire hand I have in hand. Uh, Dark Rebellion would be pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't put that in. I, w I opted out for the Castell over the Rebellion. I usually put both. <laughs> How strong is that thing? 28. 28? Alright, well. Yeah, that works. That way we at least have a uh, a decent um, defense. Defense. Like usual, I'm kind of scared to overextend. I don't think that I'm probably going to do much because they're having that sky iris and being able to search out auto fusion. We have two and they have none. He can just auto fusion and go into uh, uh, vortex. Yeah. Unfortunately, right now the only things I have in my hand is is pod duality and uh, one of each hand. Mm. So it's kind of up shit creek out about a paddle over here. The monarch guy, he's not patterning out because he he always has things to tribute for his uh monarch. So that's another yeah, problem which, that we're running into. Yeah, that's the issue. They're 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 weaning off of each other. We can't keep up with uh, their plays. Not especially since I went so neg getting bottomless like that. Mm hmm. Oh, well, we might actually have somewhat of a play. 
Like I said, I do have a play, but the question is, is it time for me to overextend? And I would say right now, no. I think the best, okay. I think the best thing to do is just to go ahead and kill the Olaf Magician and allow you to uh, hopefully do some Fire and Ice Hand plays. There's, been, there's no reason for me to overextend right now. No, I also have a Hat Trigger, which can, uh, you know, come in handy. Mm -hmm. Diamond crap, he can put him at work. Definitely running to the struggles here. And the monarch guy hasn't even really done too much. It's kind of just like dueling against. What's people. funny is that I'm actually surprised Diamond Crab is actually putting in this much work. Mm -hmm. Just running to the struggles of the uh, pendulum magician guy. But that's that's yeah. pendulum for you. We've seen plenty of times this deck can literally handle situations just by itself. So. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to overextend right now. I'll allow him to to uh, overextend, do plates, and then I'll have hopefully a rebuttal. Yeah. I am back into this duel now since I've burned through my resources and eventually got back into it, but I just can't see us keeping up with uh, his plays right now. Nah. Saber. Is that, is that the Saber Dragon yeah, that he's just no, added? he's actually playing Saber Dragon. He's actually playing some of the cards that I just like, oh, okay. <laughs> What the I can't actually... even say this is actually a good Pendulum Magician deck, but we're still struggling just because it's Pendulum Magician. Yeah. We're struggling due to the mechanics, not because of the deck. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of, like I said, I think that holding off was the smart choice. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt. So, wait, okay. you're going to summon him again? Like... Okay. I don't know, you could summon it from the graveyard like that. Okay. I didn't either, well, what's the but point hey. of that? like your plays aren't even good. Like what the fuck is going on here? No idea. Ooh. Should I Ooh. You know, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna overextend just a little bit. Hmm. Alright. Fire into the ice hand and do all them plays, yeah. Yeah. Are you gonna XC or you're just gonna crash into him? Okay. I'm gonna crash. I right. got the life points to spare. That's fine. I right, hand crash, pop him. Said so I can't even say that we're actually dueling against a good uh uh pendulum based deck. Yeah. Some that ice hand attack attack. We really haven't done much to their life points at all in this duel. Nope. But I'm hopefully going to change that all around. We know that he has Saber in his hand. It's not a threat. Nah. Sky Iris can go ahead and destroy a face up card and get Odd Ice Fusion, so. I said, it's kind of worried. Does the Monarch guy have anything in his extra deck? Uh, I don't think so. I wonder if he has anything in his extra deck, uh, Pendulum Monster based wise. Can't remember. I think he might. Yeah, he does. He does, actually. I remember I killed the monster. His uh, Olaf and went back to that crack shit. Cause then, okay. Because if he summons Vortex, then he'll have a negate on his turn because of Olaf being in there. Oh, oh okay. but I can always just bait it for Gecky. And over Gecky, he'll go, of course, negate, and then. Oh, they're just going to quit. <laughs> wow. All right. Ah, we actually pulled through. <laughs> All right. Uh, we have enough time for another duel. So, be right back. Okay. All right. Get another duel in. It's a lot of thinking in that duel, so hopefully this duel goes a little bit smoother. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh my gosh! This opening hand—is it bad or good? It's—it could be both. Mm. It could definitely be both. But this is all stuff for you, buddy. So, do you even play any pendulum-based things, or are you just main decking the wavering eyes? <laughs> huh? Are you just main decking the wavering eyes? I'm main decking right wavering nice. Oh, all right. <laughs> Blue eyes. Understandable. Oh, okay. Okay. Blue eyes isn't such an, uh, a difficult deck to face. If he... Oh, mm, okay. Uh, that's not the greatest card to be seeing right now, Lila. What are you going to pop? No, it isn't. Okay. And, of course, it hits the one quaking I put back there. <laughs> I was thinking about putting both back there just as a as an ins as an uh, insurance play, but I didn't want to overextend too much. Right, alternate, alternate attack directly for three thousand. 
That's fine. So playing Lila and Blue Eyes, like, is it just back row popper? Like, I, I play this deck, and I, random milling is not the thing that I like to do. I guess you really want to mill them stones, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I played against a dirty-ass Blue Eyes deck one time, so I really can't say how you do this deck, right? Um, actually, it's an actual back row, too. Dark World Dealings? What the shit? I know. Like, what do you... Oh. <laughs> Alright, he mailed a gospel, too. Ugh, well, I can do the, uh... The first turn. I can do the first turn. Okay. The, uh, the only problem is, is that I don't trust the back row like usual, so... Well, you have a Galaxy Cyclone yeah. to use. I don't know which one to pop. I'd say pop the one behind the blue eyes, just to be safe. Okay. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and roll the dice and see if we get something right. That wasn't right. <laughs> I could really care less what? about that card. Alright. So, let's go ahead and see. You're three. You're three. You're six. You're three. So, I think I'll do special summon, special... No. Special summon, special summon. Yeah, like that. So, you have the strongest monster. I get the special summon. Alright. I control a dynamis monster, so I get the special summon. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say watch it be the wrong back row. Right? Watch it be the wrong back row. Oh, looks like I got it off. <laughs> Sweetness. Yum 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 yum. <laughs> oh no num babies. Ooh. Oh, I came, I came through with the power. He wasn't ready for that. I turned the whole. Nah, he around. wasn't. I'll give you that just in case you need it. I know you're playing that Norden. <laughs> Who isn't these days? That Norden's too strong. Ah, uh, yeah. this deck is evil. Like I said, but Infinity's not the problem. If you want to go with and summon Infinity in your battle miss, I mean, that's just the power play, but the Patola Miles, he, he, he shouldn't give Rank 4's access to that. That's fine. Oh, yeah. And, okay. Okay. So you can't do any damage to us, because our life points are still lower. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like I said, there's no way I'm going to allow you to get off Chicken Race FTK. Can you even do Chicken Race FTK in tag? Um, no, you can't. You'd be just a little short. Hand destruction. God, that card is bad. It looks like he's trying to do chicken race FTK. Wow, you're actually going to pitch your uh, Twin Twister. Sure, I really didn't need that guy anyway. You going to answer that phone? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> so it actually looks like chicken race FTK. Even putting the pseudo's face and everything. I really pitched Twin Twister too. All this, That's interesting. You know, all this back row. And like I said, I did not need those Stegosaur. Stegosaur is like arguably the worst dynamis in this deck. So... The only reason you run him, basically, is just because he's a level 4? Uh, I just run him so I can have semi-equal amount of scales while they they scooped it up. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Uh, nah. Mm, mm, if we do another duel, we might go over time. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Okay. Alright, so we didn't get used to the Wavering Eyes. I was really hoping that if they were pairing a Pendulum with Zach and I could just set my Pendulum Scale and hit him with the Wavering Eyes and go, like, plus... It's infinity. Oh my god. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, ah, this card. This card. Hit it. One. One. <laughs> Everybody gets one Wavering Eyes. That's it. Because one of the broken plays of Wavering Eyes is searching that Wavering Eyes. Like, if you get that Wavering Eyes off in a mirror match or a pendulum based deck versus pendulum based deck, that's it. Scoop. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because uh, um, Wavering Eyes in a mirror match pendulum, uh, pendulum duel is just so overpowered. Yeah. At that point, even at one, it would literally be like, hey, yes, you're going to go ahead and crack your scales. I mean, they go back to extract you summon them later. It would literally just be a search card for any pendulum-based uh, monster. And that in itself is worthy of one. But then you add on all the rest of the shit that Wavering Eyes does, and that's when you get a little bit ridiculous. It's not ban worthy. You don't got to ban it. Just put it to one. Yeah. Right. I mean, even when you uh, Wavering Eyes, aren't when your opponent activates a Wavering Eyes, that's still kind of overpowered. Mm-hmm. Because you know that if they hit your skill, like I said, if you're if it's if it's four and you and your opponent hits you with the wavering eyes, that's it. Because you're gonna go so neck. Not only does your scales cracked, they're gonna get another wavering eyes and hit you with it again. They get a banish a card on your field, which is uh, another additional hurt, and they're gonna get to go ahead and get the search. Fuck the five hundred. Yeah. 
So yeah. yeah, exactly. It's like at the point the five hundred doesn't mean shit. And I know you're probably like, oh, 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 oh you're waving my sphere because a uh, damage juggler can block it. Who said that I'm gonna? That I think that damage juggler is gonna be safe as well. <laughs> right. Yeah. So uh, there you go. Like I said, balance predictions to final ban. Let's talk. Anyway, uh, go ahead and wrap up this video. So be sure to go ahead and subscribe and uh, go to Mr. Palafka's channel. Go ahead and promote your channel. All right. Um, well, I do uh, Let's Plays of all sorts of games, both new and old. I'm going to probably be starting up Spyro Let's Play probably <gasps> Spyro? Soon. Yeah, the OG I'm actually Spyros? Going, the, the OG Spyros oh, yeah. because they're my favorite. Yes. <laughs> I would definitely watch that. I, I haven't played Spyro in forever. I love the, the three originals. Yeah, the three originals were the absolute best. So I'm actually probably going to be doing that once I finish up one of my other Let's Plays. Um, right now I'm doing Rise of the Tomb Raider and Assassin's Creed Syndicate, uh, both which are daily and bi-daily. So I would like to invite you guys over if you enjoy Let's Plays, funny commentary, and just random ass BS. I also, I also uh, stream Rocket League on my Twitch account from time to time, so... Join in and watch the frustration. I mean, if it's not too much, I may I suggest actually doing a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh on top of that? No, I could probably do some Yu-Gi-Oh on top of that. You know, because just give them the incentive. Like, if, if you guys remember how my channel was about a year ago, I did Let's Plays and Yu-Gi-Oh, so there you go. So uh, definitely go ahead and see some Yu-Gi-Oh from you. It would be great, because that, that would go towards more Yu-Gi-Oh-based audience along with Let's Plays as well, so. Oh, yeah. All right, so link in the description. Uh, also, he's a member of Team Ninja, so if you want to go ahead and subscribe to that channel as well, then uh, links there as well. Like I said, I think you guys already have already seen Mr. Palafka on the channel. Uh, there was a Ghost Trick deck profile that I did on the channel once, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm bringing back those Ghost Tricks with a vengeance. All right. Yeah. I mean, we already saw that. Uh, what the, what did they change the name to? Quaking yeah, Mirror Quaking Force. Mirror Force. So. Definitely see some more of that and make some ghost trick plays. I mean, you guys literally for the polls have lots of you, a ton of you guys have suggested ghost tricks. I can't guarantee that I will play with ghost tricks, but I know Mr. Palafka over here plays with ghost tricks very well. He's been playing it forever. So if you guys want to see some ghost trick action, then go ahead and go to his channel. Actually, you know what? For a guest I'll play on my channel, you should probably do some duels and maybe a deck profile of ghost tricks. All right. Sounds like a plan. All right. So. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I said the polls are up, so go ahead and vote for the decks for Daily Duels for this upcoming month. Uh, and uh, if Dynamis, you guys decide that Dynamis should stay, it'll be there. But if not, uh, deck profile. And I'll probably have to explain that recent bell. But you saw you saw recent bell do its job, making them level 4s and them level 5s to go into that infinity. I think that's actually a pretty good play. So, all right, people. Thanks for watching.